Hey everyone, I want to share with you guys a proof of concept and it's going to be a flying vehicles with retractable wheels. Now my proof of concept is far simpler. You can add some rotors, you can hide it, you can add some stuff like that so it looks even more nice. But my proof of concept is pretty simple in terms that uh, pistons, uh, wheels on pistons are normally a bad thing because first of all, if wheels are not on the same grid as the cockpit, the cockpit can't control the wheels. So basically, like, you, if you put wheels on a piston, they just won't play and work. So I've been toying with like, well, how, how are we going to get this to work? Because I really wanted my idea of retractable wheels to be a thing because I love these moving toys. I'm not that good at designing things, but move, uh, toys with moving parts is awesome. So, um... I want a retractable wheels. I'm considering doing some scripting so that when you reach a certain altitude, the wheels deploy automatically. That would be really fun. So I've been toying around with this to make it work. And what I've noticed is basically that you can use merge blocks. So my design on this right now is suboptimal. You can do it to make it look nicer, uh, use less blocks so you get less weight, etc. But basically, right now, we're just flying around. So, in order to uh, deploy these wheels, we're going to have to, first of all, turn on the merge blocks. Now I'm going to deploy the pistons. And they connect. It's all good. So, now I'm just going to slowly lower myself down. There we go. Turn off. Handbrake off. Ooh. There we go. It's a bit of a camera food bar. But this looks nice, right? Uh, you can add more wheels to it to make it more robust. You can make the wheels lower so you get more distance between the ground and the main chassis. And when you're done, you just turn on the handbrake, turn on the uh, thrusters, you take off. And then you disconnect the merge blocks. Now you can see things are a little bit wobbly here. And retract. And as soon as we retract, you can also tell that the micro movements from the, uh, from the pistons on the entire grid ceases to exist. So it's only when the pistons are extended that they actually cause small movements. One of the things that's also really important is that if we look at the pistons, you have to have shared inertia tension. Tensor. God damn it. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it off to demonstrate how everything is fucked up. And it's probably going to work now. <laughs> right. Things did not work as planned. Okay. So, turning it off. Whoa. As you can tell, <laughs> the shit's getting real. So, basically, there's my proof of concept. <laughs> and uh, so, remember that very, very important setting. And at least now there's a way for us to use rotors, pistons with our wheels. Just combine them with merge blocks like this. Good luck, guys. <laughs>